This is the TierTop Wireless Trackpad. It's a wireless Bluetooth trackpad that works on your mobile devices, as well as your computers and apparently your smart TVs, but we'll get into that later. So what can it do? Well, actually a lot. It makes for a more hand-free experience for changing the volume or taking photos and videos, making navigation easy with one hand, and it feels like a mini phone for that reason. To connect it to your device, you go ahead and press the power button at the side. Once you have it down for about five seconds, it'll start blinking blue, and that means that it's ready to pair with your phone, computer, or you know, whatever device you want. Speaking of buttons, it has two volume buttons right below the power button on the right side. I haven't had an issue with it working on basically any device I've tested on, no issues of volume there. It also has a home button, and the home button kind of blends in with like older Apple products, especially like a iPod or something like that. If you have them side by side, it looks pretty similar, so I kind of like that. Gives it a nice Apple kind of theme to it. Fun fact, my cat loves this thing. If you hold the button down for three seconds, and I'm glad they thought of this, it <laughs> turns into a laser pointer. It's usually for something like PowerPoint or a presentation that you're trying to do, but you know, my cat loves playing with it. Sometimes I have to kick her out of the room though, because obviously I have to have my turn. Of course we have the trackpad which comes with a variety of shortcuts, my favorite being on my iPhone, but this also works for Android too. It lets me adjust where I am in a TikTok video, for example if I start scrolling from the top here or the bottom I guess, it will pinch through the timeline and it'll let me pretty easily adjust it. A lot easier than doing it with my hand. Also on the iPhone side of things, the home button will take you home, obviously. If you press it twice, it'll open the app switcher, and you can use it like a trackpad for scrolling and stuff. Another pretty cool feature, and by the way, this works on all devices, not just the iPhone, is the power button, if you hold it down, the light will start glowing green, and it will become a shortcut that you can customize yourself. So let's say that I wanted to have a button that scrolls and likes a TikTok for me, so I don't have to do it myself. I just go ahead, hold down the power button, record that action, and then I can scroll down. So let's say I wanted to automatically comment something on every video I watch, I could also set up a button for that. But no, this has a bunch of pretty cool uses. Something else that I also didn't know is that on the iPhone side of things, typically iPhones you can't connect the mouse to, and you can only really do it on an iPad, at least that's what I thought. But then I found out that if you turn on it, excessive touch, it makes it so the wireless trackpad actually shows up on the iPhone, which is pretty cool. For Windows, the home button doesn't do anything, and I'm sure you obviously know for a trackpad it's going to track well. And that it does. You can use two fingers to open a menu, you can also use two fingers for zooming in and out on a laptop, and it also blends in with the MacBook. It has like the same gray kind of aluminum sort of tint to it, and I guess they both take Type-C, so there's that. So why do you need this? Really, it's just convenience. It's supposed to be kind of an alternative to like a wireless mouse, which I definitely could see. I definitely see the advantages of using this over a wireless mouse in more of a home kind of perspective. Not Definitely not for gaming, but for home use, like going through emails, just navigating your device, I think it's pretty useful. One specific use that I have for this would definitely be using it sort of as a remote. It being a remote, it doesn't have batteries, obviously, it's chargeable through its Type-C port, which means it's able to be charged by other devices, and I can leave it next to my phone, because to a degree, it's kind of a remote. My Fire Stick for my TV likes to bug out a lot, so I find myself often having to put my laptop through like an HDMI cord on my TV, uh, usually every couple days, just because my Fire Stick will stop playing video. And in those situations, I typically use a wireless mouse, and it's pretty annoying. You know, I usually would have to turn off the mouse if I want to leave it on my bed because just nudging it's going to mess up the video. So when I started using this, it was so much easier because I could just be, I could leave it on my bed, it can sit there, lay flat on my desk, whatever. And because it's more of a handheld, it's easier to track than a wireless mouse, especially on my bed. It's a lot harder to accidentally press. Um, occasionally if I like, you know, drench my finger across it, it's going to do a lot less damage than if I move my mouse or occasionally accidentally smack it off the bed. So with that being said, there aren't that many downsides to this product. I could only really think of a couple, which were one, it's small size, it's about half the size as like a normal trackpad. My opinion isn't necessarily bad, but technically it does add a couple more seconds in terms of scrolling. I will say though, it does help in terms of making it more of a handheld device and it can easily be used with one hand. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it cl they claim to, you know, it working on your smart TV, but connecting it to my Fire Stick, it could just be how bad my Fire Stick is. It probably worked fine on Roku, but I couldn't get it to work. It just said it was a keyboard and nothing really happened. 
As of writing this video, I just got back from my hotel and I have my laptop connected to TV and even from my bed about 15 to 20 feet away, switching in between apps. Keep in mind, this is on Windows. This isn't something that's built for a TV. It definitely helps in terms of making this like a one hand kind of remote sort of device. It definitely is an easy to use device. And the volume buttons were pretty useful, especially for something like YouTube where, you know, people do not know how to sync their audio. The fact that it's basically always on, it has a 48 hour standby time, so I can basically always just pick it up and start using it, is pretty insane. I definitely love using this. It's so great that I don't have to charge it that often. And it's just a really seamless and easy to use device. So if you want to buy the Talk wireless trackpad, it's $35 and I'll have a link down below for you to go ahead and buy it. Anyways guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. If you did enjoy, definitely be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you guys want to see more content. Also, I just hit 50,000 followers on TikTok, which is insane. Also have that link down below if you're, you know, interested in that sort of content. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.